setting up Amazon pay-per-click campaigns in Seller Central can be a royal pain in the And setting up ads for Amazon launches is even more of a pain in the So the alternative is uploading your Amazon pay-per-click campaigns using bulk flat files. Problem with those, they're scary as heck, they're confusing, so most people don't use them. That ends today in this video as we go through the end-to-end -end process on how to quickly and easily upload Amazon pay-per-click files in bulk. Let's do this. All right, guys, welcome back to Heist, the YouTube channel that is all things deep dive Amazon FBA. And today we're gonna get right into it and I'm gonna really reveal the end-to-end -end process to set up and edit campaigns using bulk pay-per-click files within Amazon's advertising platform. They're scary when you don't know them. There's a lot of moving parts. It feels like you're a programmer from the late 1990s and totally weird. But trust me, once you go through it a couple times, it's super easy and it will literally shave off a ton of time, especially when you're launching products. I've started launching products with individual, key, you know, single keywords for each campaign and to go through the clunky interface and go back and add all the stuff, it literally takes hours within the Amazon Seller Central platform versus you can do this within kind of 10 to 15 minutes using flat files and it's super efficient. So let's get into it. So first of all, where you're gonna find this once you go into your advertising platform, if you come up here to that three liner here on the top left, it's gonna open up all the options within Amazon advertising. You're gonna come down here to bulk operations. And this is where all the flat file activity is gonna happen within Seller Central. This is part one of this pay-per-click series. If you click the subscribe button, if this is your first time here, it will notify you next week because we're gonna come out with another video next week on how to do bulk bid changes, negative targeting, and other things. So beyond this keyword setup, there's a lot of other cool things you can do and it all happens within this platform. So what you're gonna do once you come into bulk operations, if you wanna get more information, they've got actually some resources in this bulk sheets portal. Um, again, as Amazon does, the instructions aren't super clear, but they definitely have a lot of cool information there. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna download a bulk operations template. And this is gonna be kind of the blank interface where we're gonna upload all of these new campaigns using a flat file. It's gonna come out with the, uh, a sheet like this. I like to work in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna just come in here to this empty file, go to the first one here, I'm gonna import that. If you just go to upload, drag that sucker over there. I wanna replace the spreadsheet. Yes, I'm good to do that and you hit import data and it's gonna suck all this stuff in here. So this is basically all of the columns um, of which we don't need to fill all of them out, but this is all the columns that are gonna come in with a bulk uploads. So this is the portfolios view. You can do sponsored brand campaigns, sponsored display campaigns, and then sponsored product campaigns. As most of us set up for the first time, um, which is just the pay-per-click side of things, or product targeting is gonna happen here within the sponsored products. So we're not gonna do the other types here today, but uh, this is uh, where you find sponsored products. And this is all the information that you're gonna see here. Um, just so this is a little bit more legible. I'm gonna go ahead here and just kind of expand that out, and boom. Okay, so much like when you set up a campaign within Seller Central, there's really three different types or structures within the ad structure. The first is campaign, the second is ad group, the third is ad, and then the fourth is the keyword that you target within that ad. So there's four different things that we're gonna fill out here. So where you wanna fill those out is gonna be in the record type. So the, the highest level is gonna be the campaign, then it's gonna be the ad group, it's gonna be the ad, and then it's gonna be the keyword. So you wanna leave the record ID blank and you're gonna to wanna to leave the campaign ID. If you're setting up a campaign for the first time, you'll leave that campaign ID um, totally blank. If you're actually editing or adding on words to an existing campaign, you can actually plug in the campaign ID number there. But in this case, we're gonna leave it blank because this is kind of a launch setup campaign as an example. So if you come into campaign, 
Um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna be referencing a master keyword list from the keyword deep dive video that I did in the gardening niche. So I'll leave a link to that video up above so you can check that out. We're gonna reference that spreadsheet here. So I'm just gonna just uh, assume here that this is the uh, exact gardening, I'll just say garden uh, one, keep it simple. You're gonna to wanna to set the campaign daily budget, so whatever you think this is. If it's a single keyword campaign, you may wanna have that be like 20 bucks. If you've got a bunch of keywords in there, it may be 50 to 100 bucks, kinda of depends on the niche, depends on the volume, depends on your budget. I'm just gonna assume 20 bucks there. The portfolio ID, if you wanted to reference this and tuck this into a existing portfolio, so say I've already got an existing portfolio for say gardening bag, I could add that here. If you're setting this up for the first time and don't have a portfolio set up, you actually can't set up portfolios here, so leave that blank if you don't have a portfolio. So for campaign start date, I'm just gonna do a future date just for fun, but if you wanted to make this today's date, you can kind of plug that in. If you wanna have an actual end cap date, so say you're doing a launch and you only wanna run these campaigns for say two, three weeks, you can put an end cap date. If you leave this empty, it's just gonna exist in perpetuity until you change the status or pause the campaign. So the campaign targeting type's gonna be manual. There's two options here. You can either do exact or manual. When I'm launching products for the first time, I only do manual and I only do exact. Uh, but if you're doing exact campaigns, you would type in exact here. And then the only other two things that you need to kind of do here is in the campaign status, you're gonna just put enabled. And again, it will be as of that date that they're gonna enable it. You could also put pause here if you wanted, um, but I just do a future date and put it enabled. And then I come over to bidding strategy. Um, there's all the bidding strategies if you wanted to do fixed bidding, dynamic up, down, dynamic down only, all the same things that you can kind of select from the drop down within Seller Central. I typically just do dynamic bidding down only, but choose your uh, your structure how you want. So that's it, so campaign setup. Um, the next is ad group. So you're gonna wanna take the campaign ID from this first one here, just to tie it to the right campaign. You don't need to do a daily budget, don't need to do start, don't need to do manual. Um, you do have to add an ad group. I just keep it simple and do ad group one. And then you can fill out the max bid uh, for the ad group. So let's say that for this campaign you wanted like a $3, I'm going a little bit heavier, I want a $3 max bid. Any of the keywords that you put down below and don't put an actual specific bid on, it's gonna default to that three. But each individual keyword in your campaign, you can select a different max bid. And then the only final thing that you've gotta do here is come to this ad group status and just put enabled on that one as well, and you're done. So moving on to the ad, same thing, you're gonna to wanna to uh, copy over the exact garden one campaign type. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing for the ad group here. And then the only other thing you wanna do here is actually select the actual product um, that you wanna target. So um, this is basically gonna be your ASIN, or you could use a SKU number, but I usually just plug in ASIN, so I'm just putting ASIN as an example but it would be your BO879XYZ, whatever the number is. You would plug in that ace in here that you actually wanna target with this campaign for your launch. And then the last thing you gotta do here is just in the status, just do enabled. So that's the core architecture, that's the structure of the campaign, we've got that all set up. Now the fun part is actually plugging in the keywords that you wanna target. So the first thing, like just like we've done before for the keyword, we're gonna take this exact uh, garden campaign, tie that keyword to the actual campaign. The first thing we gotta do, same thing for ad group, we're gonna copy that down. And then this is where if you've got a keyword specific bid strategy, you can plug that in here. I'm gonna just pretend that I'm gonna go on the upper limit again, I'm gonna go three bucks out the gate. The one drawback to bulk files is, is you don't see Amazon's recommendation for the kind of low, mid, high bid suggestions. So if you wanted to, you could really just dump a full kind of keyword list that you're looking to target here within that Amazon platform and just see, generally speaking, where the bid ranges are. Typically for most niches, you're gonna see kind of similar clusters of data. I like to stick on the upper range of that when I'm launching and then I'll draw those bids back down in like two, three weeks after launch. Um, so that's the one drawback, but I would just kind of start with an upper limit. So I'm just gonna assume hypothetically in this case that the upper range for all these keywords is three, but you could kind of shave those how you want if you've got specific bid strategies um, that you wanna have in place. And that's gonna be the max bid given the kind of dynamic down only. 
So it's going to bid no more than $3. But if it's got a more optimal opportunity based on a ton of different variables, it will bid down from that $3 range. All right, so once you got the bid in there, the next thing is the fun part. That's going to be entering your actual keywords. So going back to the keyword deep dive uh, sheet, again, I'll link that video again up above here. Um, there's a whole lot of different ways to take keywords. Um, more recently, uh, for any key, um, keyword with search volume more than 1,000 searches a month when I'm launching a product, I will do one single keyword and one campaign. And uh, so I'm not bucketing 20 keywords at a time. I'm literally going one for one. So a lot of my campaigns now may have 50, 100 exact campaigns word for word. So I can really throttle budget and kind of get the impressions I want and get some of the data I want. To keep it simple here, uh, I'm just gonna bucket five keywords at a time. Kind of depends on your approach and strategy. Generally speaking, I definitely would not recommend having more than five keywords per campaign if it's got search volume of a thousand or more. But in this case, we're just gonna do buckets of five. So we just copy those keywords here and boom. If we're doing actual ASIN targeting, so if we're targeting competitors, you would just plug in the ASIN here instead of a keyword, but we're just gonna focus on keywords. So moving along, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to put here is the match type. So in our case, we are doing exact match type. If you were doing phrase or broad, you could obviously do that here, but we're doing exact. I definitely don't recommend doing phrase or broad when you first launch a product. Uh, so we're gonna focus on exact, but you can kind of adjust that as needed. I'll show you here later on in the video how to do phrase and broad really quickly. And then the last thing you gotta do is just enable the sucker. So you just take this enabled, and draw that down, boom. Last thing we're gonna do here is just these, these ad groups we've gotta copy down here as well. So those are all synced up. And then this gardening thing, we gotta bring that down. And then the keyword we're also gonna bring down. So boom, so that's our first five keyword campaign. And then, so it takes a decent amount of work just to kind of get that set up. But then after that, we're really off to the races. So if I've got my next uh, campaign group, just come in here like this. Actually, I'll copy the first three, first five. I just come in here like this, boom, hit that down. I would just rename this garden two. Boom, I'm done there. And then I just come back here and I grab my next five or however many I wanna do. If it's one for one, I could kinda of do that. And then I come over here to my keywords and boom. Same thing with my ad group. Done. Exact type, I'm just gonna drag down. Again, I'd plug in my ASIN, but it's gonna be the same product since we're doing a launch, and then I run this enable down. Boom, set up my second campaign. And then I just rattle that all the way down for however many words you wanna target during your launch effort. So super simple, right? After that, in a typical launch scenario, I'd be done because I'm only targeting exact words. I just wanna show a real quick example of how easy it is to then take these groups and doing phrase or broad if you wanted to expand the search. So I'll just go in here to my first campaign, the garden one group, I can copy that. I'll paste it down below. And then if you just come to here, edit, and then go find and replace, you could just say find all of my exact and I wanna change that to phrase, replace all, and boom. Now I've got a phrase campaign for that first bucket. Let's say I wanna do the same thing for this garden too, but instead I wanted to do a broad search instead. Just go here to edit, find and replace, find exact, replace with broad, replace all, boom. Now I've got a broad campaign. So it's as easy as that guys, you now have the file format Next thing you wanna do is I would come in here and I would save this as an Excel sheet. So then you come back to this advertising portal, you go choose file, you upload that sucker. It says it takes up to three hours, but honestly, most of my campaigns take like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes max. Just keep an eye on these and make sure that when you're done, you'll see here's one that is finished successfully. You'll just wanna make sure that it's got that tag. If there's any errors or you forgot to drop down and copy down like an ad group or something, it's gonna show up here as a row error. You can kind of go back and fix that and re-upload it, no problem. But that's it, this is now live. In a matter of 10, 15 minutes at scale, 
you can do super detailed bulk campaigns using this process of flat files. So it's not as scary as it looks. Hopefully this helped. If you had value out of this, drop a comment down below. Once we hit 100 comments, I'm gonna actually post this file with some additional notes and an additional SOP and checklist so that you know exactly how to do this within your own campaigns. You can leverage it the next time you wanna load campaigns and you're off to the races. All right guys, I hope that was valuable. Stick around because next week we're getting into part two of the series where I'm gonna show you how you can edit your bid amounts, how you can do negative targeting and other features using Amazon bulk operations for your Amazon pay-per-click campaigns. Hit subscribe if this is your first time here. We'll see you next week. Cheers.